You know that female orthopedic surgeons are up to four times higher risk of breast cancer than an average woman, and that's expected to be due to the axillary exposure of x-ray during certain orthopedic procedures. So wearing lead that fully protects you and covers the axillary region, particularly in women, is critically important. If you work in an industry in which you are exposed to radiation, such as x-ray, I want to share some important safety information that may prove to be helpful. I have partnered with Barrier Technologies to share some information with you about radiation protection. There are a lot of medical specialties that use x-ray on a day-to-day -day basis, such as orthopedic surgery, trauma surgery, spine surgery, vascular surgery, and interventional procedures, such as interventional cardiology and interventional radiology. You wear this stuff on an everyday basis, and are you thinking about how it fits you, how it's protecting you, or how it may not be protecting you. Exposure to x-ray may increase your risk of cancer and cataracts. So what we wear can potentially save our life. Ensuring that you have lead that fits you properly and covers all important parts of your body is really, really important, including the thyroid region. I personally have used barrier technologies for a number of years for all my lead protection because they have an easy to fit process where I can use AI measurements online and get my lead shipped to my house without any hassle. And you gotta admit, this color combination looks pretty good too. I also wanna point out what a lot of people forget is the eye protection. And radiation exposure to your eye from scatter beams can increase your risk of cataracts. You guys that follow me know me, I wear prescription eyewear. So having prescription radiation protection is also pretty important. If you work in the operating room or anywhere where you're exposed to radiation, please make sure you're protecting your eyes, you're protecting your body, reducing your risk of cancer, and reducing your risk of cataracts. Let me know what other kind of questions you have about this in the comment section, and I'll be happy to try to answer them.